good morning everyone today i am going to explain to you about the problems in fuzzy set so in last video i have explained to you on classical set and fuzzy set now we will solve the problems using fuzzy set now consider the two fuzzy sets a and b so a contains the elements like 1 by 2.0 plus 0.65 by 4.0, 0.5 by 6.0 plus 0.35 by 8.0 plus 0 by 10.0. So these are all the fuzzy values 1.65, 0.5, 0.35, and 0, which is having which is the value between 0 and 1. And B is having a fuzzy set with the, consist of all these elements like 0, 0.35, 0.5, 0.65, and 1. So you can see this. The denominator is same for both the sets: two point zero, four point zero, six point zero, eight point zero, and ten point zero. So for this particular two fuzzy sets A and B, we are going to perform the fuzzy operations like union, intersection, like that. Okay, these are all the things we are which we are going to find it out. A union B, A intersection B, A bar B bar. A bar intersection B bar, A bar union B bar, A union B the old bar, A intersection B the old bar, A union A bar, A intersection A bar, B union B bar and B intersection B bar. Okay, so this is what we are going to do it. Uh, as I have told you in the previous video itself, this is how you can represent the fuzzy set. So with the numerator values, numerator fuzzy values and the denominator which uh, contain the elements. Okay. now coming to this union first one that is a union b so the formula for a union b is maximum of membership value of a comma membership value of b so when we do this so we will write this membership value of x what is membership value of x 1 by 2.0 so we will write here maximum of 1 by 2.0 0.65 so i'll write the membership value of for a and i'll write the membership value for b here so i need to compare these two when i'm comparing it when i'm taking this so i need to compare only with this the first part okay so when i'm comparing these two both denominator should be the same i should not make any change the denominator 2.0 i should write as it is i should compare only the numerator value 1 and 0 so since it is maximum the maximum of 1 and 0 is the maximum value is 1 here so the output will be 1 by 2 Point zero. So as I am comparing these two elements, I cannot compare this with this because the denominator is different here, two point zero and four point zero. So this is different. So I cannot compare. I can compare only with the same denominator. Now plus I will write. So here when I compare these two, the maximum value is point six five and point three five. So the maximum value is point six five by four point zero. So when I compare these two value point five. And point five, the maximum is point five. Point five by six point zero. So point three five and point six five. Point six five by eight point zero. Zero by ten point zero and one by ten point zero. The maximum value is one. So plus one by ten point zero. So this is what the output you will get when you find the uh, when you find the union between the two fuzzy sets. So this you should not confuse with the normal division or since it is plus is given you should take any LCM. It is not like that. Just we are going to give how much uh, how much degree that particular element have. So for example, two point zero is having a fuzzy value one. Four point zero is having a fuzzy value point six five. So we need to compare the both the fuzzy sets and we need to write the maximum value among these. Okay, this is the output you will get for your A union B. coming to a intersection b this is nothing but minimum of membership value of a comma membership value of b so minimum of i am writing the membership value for a here and and down i am writing the membership value of b so when i am comparing this 2.1 by 2.0 and 0 by 2.0 the minimum value among the numerator 1 and 0 is 0 here so the output will be 0 by 2.0 when i compare this 0.65 By 4.0 and 0.35, the minimum value is 0.35. So the output is 0.35. When I compare this, the minimum value is 0.5, and here it is 0.35. 0 by 10.0 and 1. 0 and 1, the minimum value is 0. So I am getting here 0 here. So this is what the output for your A intersection B. Third is 
A's complement. A's complement is nothing but 1 minus membership value of A of X. So, I am writing here 1 minus the, the entire the A for C set. So, when I want to find out this 1 minus, I should do the changes only in the numerator value. 1 minus 1, it will be 0. 1 minus 0 0.65 is 0 0.35. 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.35 is 0 0.65. 1 minus 0 is 1. So, this is the output for your A's complement. Similarly, uh, for B's complement, it is nothing but 1 minus membership value for B. So, it is 1 minus, I am writing the fussy set for B and I am subtracting all the numerator values. So, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 0.35 is 0.65, 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5, 1 minus 0 0.65 is 0 0.35, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this is the output for your B fussy set, B's complement. Next one is A complement intersection B's complement. So, in the previous example, we have we know we have found out already A's complement and B's complement. Intersection means minimum value. So, minimum of membership value for A's complement, membership value for B's complement. So, if we find out this, I can able to find out the answer for this. So, what is the membership value for A's complement? A's complement in C example, I have already found out the A's complement membership value so i can write this same here and i can also use this b's complement also so i'm writing here zero by this is a's complement membership value and these this is b's complement membership value so i need to find out the minimum of these two so when i compare zero and one the minimum value is zero so i'm getting zero here 0 0.35 and 0 0.65 minimum is 0 0.35 so i'm getting 0 0.35 here 0.5 and 0.5 i'm writing 0.5 0.65 and 0 0.35, 0 0.35 is minimum, so I am writing 0 0.35 by 8.0. 1 and 0 when you compare, 0 is minimum, so I am getting 0 by 10.0, okay? Next is A complement, union B's complement. Union means maximum, so maximum of membership value for A's complement, comma membership value for B's complement. So we already uh, know A's complement, I am writing A's complement membership value and this is B's complement membership value and I am finding the maximum. So when I compare the 0 and 1, the minimum value is 0, uh, maximum value is 1 here. So I am writing here 1 and when I compare 0 0.35 and 0 0.65, 0 0.65. 0.5 and 0.5 I am writing 0 0.5, 0 0.65 and 0 0.35 maximum value is 0 0.65, 1 and 0, 1. So, this is the answer for A complement union, B's complement. Next is A union B, the old bar. So, this is a De Mockens law. So, what is A union B, the old bar? That is nothing but A complement intersection B's complement. This in E subdivision, we already find, found A complement intersection B's complement. The answer is this one. So, I can write the same answer for this, this also. A union B, the old bar is, it is nothing but A's complement intersection B's complement. So, I already find it out this particular answer. So, I am writing the same answer for this formula also, okay. And similarly, for A intersection B, the old bar, it is A bar union B bar. So, here if, it, if you have intersection, you will get here union. So, already I have found out this output for this particular A, uni, A bar union B bar. So, the same thing, I can write it for this, this formula also, okay. Next is A union A bar that is maximum of membership value of A comma membership value of A bar. So, the membership value for A is 1 by 2.0 plus 0 0.65 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.35 and 0. What is membership value for A complement? So, in C division, subdivision, I have already found out this A's complement membership value. So, I am writing this 0 by 2.0. 0 0.35, 0 0.5, 0 0.65 and 1. Now, I need to compare these two and I should write the maximum of membership value. 1 and 0 when I compare, the answer is 1. 0 0.65 and 0 0.35, it is 0 0.65. This is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.65 and this is 1. So, this is an answer for A union the A bar. And similarly, we can write it for A intersection A bar also. That is nothing but minimum of membership value for A comma membership value for A bar. So, I am writing the membership value for A and membership value for A bar, okay. And I am using this minimum function, 1 and 0, I am here I am getting 0, 0 0.65 and 0 0.35, when I compare I am getting 0.35, this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.35 and this is 0. So, this is an answer for A intersection A bar.
and next is b union b bar similarly we are writing it for b union b bar it is maximum of membership value of for b comma membership value for b bar so i am writing the membership value for b and b bar so b bar is nothing but if you that is easily you can easily find it out this b bar it is nothing but zero means here one minus zero is one 1 minus 0.35 is 0.65, 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5, 1 minus 0.65 is 0.35, 1 minus 1 is 0. So now we can use maximum function to find out the maximum value. 0 and 1, the maximum is 1. 0.65 when you compare this 0.5 when you compare these two i'm getting 0.65 and this is 1 so this is an answer for b union b last problem is b intersection b bar that is intersection means minimum of membership value for b comma membership value for b bar so i'm writing the membership value for b and b bar i'm comparing and i'm writing the minimum value so 0 and 1 i'm getting 0 0.35 and 0.65 i am getting 0.35 and here it is 0 0.5 0 0.35 and here it is i am getting 0 so this is what this is how you have to uh, solve this problem using fuzzy set so for if any two fuzzy set is given for you so if they are asking you to find out all these operation you can easily uh, do it by taking maximum or minimum or by separating it by one okay now we move on to the second problem the second problem we need to compare the two sensors based on the detection level okay so detection level for the sensor 1 is given and detection level for the sensor 2 is given so detection level for the sensor 1 is 0 0 0.2 0 0.35 0 0.65 0 0.75 and 1 so this the setting the gain setting is 0 for the 0 the sensor 1 detection level is 0 and detection level is sensor 2 0 for the gain setting 10 detection level for the sensor 1 is 0.2 here it is 0.45 for 20 it is 0.35 and 0.25 for 30 it is 0.65 and 0 0.7 for the 40 setting we are getting 0 0.75 and 0 0.95 and for the 50 setting we are getting detection level 1 and detection level for, uh, sensor 2 also got the same detection level 1. Now we need to use fuzzy set to solve this real life problem. So we are getting we are having this tabular column we doesn't know how to frame this fuzzy set. So for this we can give we can consider this universe of discourse like this 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. This is x we can keep it like this. Now we need to for frame the fuzzy set. So we can name it as a for the first sensor 1 and for the sensor 2 we name it as b. For the sensor 1 that is called A, how do you how do you frame this fuzzy set is since it is we have got the membership value to be 0, we will get 0 by 0, 0 0.2 by 10, 0 0.35 by 20, 0 0.65 by 30, 0 0.75 by 40 and 1 by 50. So this is what I have written here. So 0 by 0 plus 0 0.2 by 10 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.65, 0 0.75 and 1 by 50. Likewise, we will write it for B also. So B we will get, so 0 by 0, 0 0.45 by 10, 0 0.25 by 20, 0 0.75, 0 0.7 by 30, 0 0.95 by 40 and 1 by 50. Now we frame the fuzzy set for A and B. Now it is easy for us to do the functions. So for example, if I want to formulate, if I want to find out this A union B, so by using this fuzzy set, I can easily find it out. The formula is maximum of membership value for A comma membership value for B. That is maximum of, I'll write the membership value for A and B and find out the maximum among these two fuzzy set. So like similarly, we can uh, do it for other functions also. So any problem, any real world problem is given for you. So we can easily frame the fuzzy set. Using fuzzy set, we can able to find out all the union intersection, all those things. I can easily find it out using the formula okay so we move on to the next problem that is consider two fuzzy set they have given two fuzzy set here a and b a set contains membership value for x1 0.2 for x2 it is having 0.3 and for x3 0.4 for the b set it is having for x1 0.1 for x2 0.2 and for x3 0.2 so there are two fuzzy set now we need to find out these three functions one is algebraic sum algebraic product bounded sum and bounded difference okay first we will find this algebraic sum algebraic sum formulas membership value of 
a plus b of x will be membership value for a of x plus membership value of mem b of x minus membership value of a of x into membership value of b of x okay so we will write the membership value for a of x what is a of x i'll write it here plus and membership value of b of x i will write it here minus membership value of a dot membership value for b now what we, what i'll do is i'll add these two things when i add this 0.2 plus 0.1 i'll get here 0.3.3 by x1 so i'll add 0.3 and 0.1 so i'll get 0.5 by x2 plus 0.4 and 0.2 so i'll get 0.6 by x3 okay i am simply adding to the membership values numerator values here minus for dot i have to multiply so what will i get here so 0.2 and 0.1 i'll get here 0.02 by x1 so i'll multiply 0.3 and 0.2 so i'll get 0 0.6 0 0.06 by x2 plus 0.4 and 0.2 that will be 0 0.08 0 0.08 by x3 okay so this is what i'll get it so after adding and after doing the product i'm getting this values now we can do the subtraction so what will i get here 0 0.3 minus 0 0.08 0 0.02 is 0 0.28 by x1 plus 0.5 and 0 0.06 will be 0.44 by x2 plus this one is 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.08 so when i subtract i'll get 0 0.52 0 0.52 by x3 okay this is the the final answer for this algebraic sum so just i have to add and for product i need to multiply okay this is not case uh, this is not the case of union union we will be doing will be taking maximum and intersection will be taking uh, the minimum value but here in addition if you are having this plus operator just you have to add and for dot operator you have to multiply okay next is algebraic product algebraic product is mu a dot b will just simply you have to take the product of membership value for a and membership value for b as uh, we have already done this membership value for a dot b over here in this first a subdivision we can write the same answer so the answer for this mu a of x dot mu b of x is 0 0.02 by x1 0 0.06 by x2 0 0.08 by x3 so i have written the same thing over here this is your algebraic product next is bounded sum bounded sum is mu of a plus b of x is minimum of 1 comma mu a of x plus mu b of x that is minimum of 1 comma mu a of x plus mu b of x is simply adding the two membership values so i am getting 0 0.3 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 so now i need to compare these two and i have to write the minimum value so 1 and 0 0.3 minimum value is 0 0.3 here and when i compare this 1 and 0 0.5 the minimum value is 0 0.5 1 and 0 0.6 the minimum value is 0 0.6 so this is the output for your bounded sum next coming to bounded difference it is a dot b of x is maximum of 0 comma mu a of x minus mu b of x so i am writing max of 0 comma so i am uh, calculating the subtraction of two fuzzy sets so subtraction is same 0.2 minus 0.1 is 0 0.1, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.1, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.2. So I am writing here the answer here. So taking the subtraction of two fuzzy set. Now I need to compare the zero with all the membership values and I have to write the maximum value. So 0 and 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 and 0.1 it is 0 0.1. Again 0 and 0.2 you are getting 0 0.2. So this is how you have to find out algebraic sum, algebraic product, bounded sum and bounded difference so in this video i have explained to you all the problems in fuzzy set so i think you all know how to solve all real world problems if any two fuzzy set is given for you thank you all for watching this video